Now presenting comedian Judah Freelander. It's the best of the worst of the comics on the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi, Vinny. Come on in with your, yeah, come on in, Vinny. With your Kermit voice. I told you to come in, man. <laughs> Hi. I wouldn't have been insulting him if I knew he was right here. <laughs> How you been? Yeah, Good. Vinny could kick ass. You know that. Here's yeah. what Vinny is. Vinny is a confrontational psychopath. He loves confrontation with people. He really does. He's a small guy, but he's like a... Small? A, I mean, like like height-wise. He's not like he's 6'8", oh. bully. He's, a, he's just a crazy person. He definitely looks like he's I, uh, been in a couple, couple of... Brawls. I've yeah. been training him. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You look good, Judy. Yeah, yeah. I've been working out a lot, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. Judy's a mess. If you can't see Judy, he's got a. Uh, what's your hat say? It says world champion in Spanish. Oh, and it's just well, you know my whole act's about being the world champion, so figured yeah. I'd get one in Spanish too. <laughs> What am I? A lot of hot Puerto Rican chicks out there. It's going to lead to uh, getting a hat in every language. Yeah, I'm That's working on it. I'm working yeah. on it. It's he has a yellow cool. shirt on. It just says world champion. And uh, Jude is a, a good friend. Uh, not exactly a specimen of, of physical conditioning. And one of my favorite things you do is uh, he does a joke about like the marathon and how he doesn't train for it. Uh, at all, he just crams the night before. <laughs> yeah, when I had to run a marathon, I just I didn't train at all. I just just the night before I just crammed. That's great. Ran about eight hundred miles. He's <laughs> gotten great shape. And just cruised through the marathon. Man. Why funny. train, dude? It's just, you know, hang out. She uh, never looks different. He always has the exact. You, wait, how many, it makes it easy, dude. You never, but you're not even a different color shirt. Nothing. I know. You don't shower. Yeah, it makes, it makes the day easier, you know. <laughs> I have no decisions God. on, like, what. oh, what am I going to wear today? I'm like, oh, here it is. How many yeah. world champion T-shirts do you have? Well, I got a lot. Because I, I sell them on my website, too. So you I got... sell those crappy hats? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> are people actually buying them? People that... are buying them, oh, dude. My God. Yeah, man. That's the power of the Internet. There's <laughs> right. so many people. There's somebody that will buy anything. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I sell, I sell about two a year. I'm doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> I've doubled last year's sales already. You're retire any time now. It's just going great. That's yeah. a great hat if you're in Holland Tunnel traffic and you need a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it works. It works at the Lincoln Tunnel, too, he doesn't I even, can tell you. He doesn't even bother looking into fonts. It's like, ah. Not it. Just, <laughs> Let's look, just go with the basic yeah, it's like font. <laughs> glued on I mean, letters. The least yeah. you could have done was try out a few different fonts to see maybe yeah. it looks a little cooler nah, or something. I just like it basic. You know, basic all-American Whatever font. popped up. <laughs> yeah, that's the most basic kind of font yeah. style. It, it, it should well, be a I'm little a more champion, Mexican so or, or yeah, yeah, no. Spanish. Well, or... I'm American, so I keep it American. How do you oh, say okay. that? Okay. How do you Campion say? del Mundo. Campion wow, with del... the accent and everything. <laughs> yeah, I have a very authentic Campion. accent. I don't Campion. know if I mentioned that. Yeah, Campion del Mundo. She was a good actor, too, man. It really bugs me. He's in 30 Rock. I um, love 30 Rock. Huge fan of 30 Rock. No one screwed up uh, 30 Rock was that other show that was called 60 Rock. Studio 60. Oh, all right. <laughs> 60 people Rock. Still, I'm not people still kidding. come up to me. I thought like, 60 Rock was twice as good. Right. Really was. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That, that's what, a 30 Rock block <laughs> they run. That's what effed you guys up, and someone made some yeah. dumb decision because there was 30 Rock, and then I referred to it as 60 Rock. I'm serious. Yeah. And I'm like, is it the same show? I got confused, and then I want to see... Uh, you and Tracy Morgan and Alec Baldwin, and then all of a sudden I tuned in the other one thinking it was you guys, oh, and they're being, they're being serious, yeah. and they got, they got Sting with a stupid loot. I'm like, what is Dude, going I on saw here? That that loot. <laughs> yeah. Right. Remember when that happened when, uh, uh, what the hell was that? Um, uh, oh, 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 uh, uh. Uh, I got this. Don't don't stop me yet. A very good story. No, no, don't stop me. I, I swear I'm going to work through this. I'm, I'm working through this. Focus. I'm got George Clooney was in um, ER. ER. Okay. At the same time, Chicago Hope was on with uh, Adam Arkin. Okay. And at that time, before George Clooney was really known, there was almost this similar look between yeah, the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you don't even see it. Right. But then there was kind of this look, this similar look. And I completely got confused. I had no idea which show was which. And boy, that was a lot of work to come out with a nothing statement. That story was amazing. I got to tell you. I actually, <laughs> one right. time I actually if, showed up on the Studio 60 set by mistake. Studio 60. <laughs> I, I got them confused. Yeah, they started yelling at no, me. What's, yeah. No, what's scary about uh, about TV, 30 Rock was this close from being canceled. And then it found its audience. And now it's, it's just uh, taking off. Yeah, no, hmm. it's cool. I mean... Uh, it's one of those things where, like, people would say, uh, "Yeah, they, like people knew the show, but they weren't watching it." And now it's—I think it's—I think it's picking up a bit, and, and the shows have been getting uh, 
they've been kind of gelling and getting funnier. Yeah. You know? And what happened with Alec Baldwin? Like, obviously the controversy, but then he didn't want it. He wanted off the show. Well, I'm not as sure of the whole things because that acts that whole thing happened after we stopped taping. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I mean, my guess is he just kind of want to lay low, you know. And uh, but he is coming back. That's what I've heard. So, which is great because he's, you know, he's hilarious. I saw him in the hood the other day. I was telling you off mic. I got to yeah. say it on air now. He is so famous. Like I see a lot of celebrities in our, in our neighborhood, Jimmy, and and most of them, you know, people take a quick look and like, oh, oh wow, and then they go back to doing what they're doing because they're a bunch of snobs to begin with where I live. And uh, but Alec Baldwin <laughs> is so famous, especially because he just went through what he went through. I made an ass. Yeah, exactly. Of myself. <laughs> Best that clip ever. That the guy was getting so bothered walking down the sidewalk that he decided it was best that he walks in traffic to avoid people because he just wanted to walk somewhere. He was going, you know, somewhere for whatever. Yeah, no, and, I, and I, I all of a sudden he's. I, I watched the whole thing go down because we were walking pretty much right behind him for about twenty blocks, and then we decided we better turn around and go back home. Uh, <laughs> you just followed him, Hinkley. <laughs> I saw him at a pizzeria, yeah. and I was dying to say to him, "I loved you in uh, Team America," but he's a big dude. I was afraid he's going to kick my ass. <laughs> I'm yeah, saying it to him because they really, they really, yeah, 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 they ripped him apart. He's very that. intimidating, but people started coming up to him to the point he decided to walk in traffic. And he had to walk against traffic, actually, because it was uh, Columbus Avenue. And he said, you know what? This is uh, safer than staying on the sidewalk with yeah, these animals faster, that are bothering me. Faster, yeah. So. He should have just started running on the, on the hoods of the cars at the dance scene in fame. <laughs> you know, I do the same thing. I, I have to walk Stop. against traffic, too, because so many people want to buy my <laughs> So many people want to buy my hats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you walk into traffic on purpose so they can read it, and they go, where you know, do I get that? And you yeah, say your I mean, name. I'm selling two hats a year now, so i got to walk in traffic, <laughs> too. Everyone wants them. It's a very popular hat. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Hey, uh, Vinny, did you ever finish building the pirate ship Which on your farm? <laughs> Wait, what pirate ship? You mean the... Uh, that Patrice is, is constantly talking about. There's no pirate ship. It's just a nice little... I'm building a, a sheep pen now. I'm putting sheep Dude, in. What about what, the, what about the pen? What about the pumpkins? You gonna be selling a lot of those this fall? Christmas trees <laughs> and Christmas trees. Yeah, I don't really sell anything. I, I have. Do you uh, know what I'm talking about yet? No. Uh, I, what are you I'm talking not about? gonna tell you. Oh man, did yeah. Patrice tell another story? No. I'm never having Patrice in my house ever again. Vinny, uh, did you? Here's a hint. Your it's house? your voice. It's your voice. Oh, the midget. Yeah, oh, see, geez. you have heard that. <laughs> I, you know what? I can tell you something. I, I get that all the time. People will come to me and go, they think you sound like the midget. And I got to tell you something. I hear the guy's voice, and I think he sounds like me, but I don't think it's that close. It's uh, it's Matt Roloff from Little People Big World. I'm obsessed with this dumb show. On li it's a life. Uh, I think it's on Lifetime. Ugh. I know. What's that? Is it like the, the dwarf TLC, uh, TLC. Genitals. The dwarf family. Thank God. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm obsessed with it to the point now I feel bad when we do midget sightings. I, I'm, like, I'm like, stop with this giving me like a, a heart crap. Yeah. But you you sound just like uh, Matt Roloff. Do you have a clip of him? I've never heard him. Uh, I've been asking for clips from uh, Matt <clears throat> Roloff, but... He sounds like oh. this. Uh, but, yeah, he sounds pretty much like Vinny. <laughs> Here's your pretty clip. Cool, man. The only other person that appreciates the show is Bob Kelly. <laughs> Okay. Bob Kelly and I now call each other to talk about little people. Big. Ugh. Is yeah. Bob crying when uh, <laughs> when he watches it? No. I, have you seen the show, Vinny? Only once. I saw like a small episode. Now I get it on the farm deal. But I can't really watch television at all, and I really don't want to tune into midgets. I don't know why. It's, they're <laughs> everywhere. Heard... Midgets, expl midgets get so much work now. Every commercial, there's midgets in commercials. And I don't understand it. You it, pay them a child's wage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all derogatory stuff. I mean, there's one where they're, they flick a midget off the table. Like, how do they not see that that's so... It's it's because the midget that's getting paid for the gig, he doesn't care. He loves it. Yeah. It's the other midgets that have midget organizations that think <laughs> that he shouldn't be getting paid for that. Right. You know, it's like, uh, screw you. I'm a midget. I'm going to market myself as a midget. And midgets are everywhere. Start looking. Yeah. Oh, believe me. I did. Last night, I got served a few Guinness by one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you went there. The hell oh, was... you went there. Well, I don't know what it was because she wasn't truly a midget. Yeah. It was like, yeah, there's some different people are guys. Close. Some there's that are, big yeah. Herman Munster headed midget <laughs> that got like the big, uh, and the, their faces kind of look the same, right? And they got the little bow, bow legs and the big knobby elbows and everything like that. And they just kind of skittle up the pew, walk down the street. <laughs> but this girl was, she wasn't a midget, but she was, how tall would you say she was? Three inches. <laughs> she she was, wasn't a midget. She was a figurine. She, she was a hummel. <laughs> she was barely uh, four four. 
I wouldn't even give her the four. No. All right. Three this, eight. Wow. Well, then she's a. Uh, supposedly uh, the midget thing starts at like four ten. Really? Is it really four ten? The little yes. people things. Wow. Maybe we can do a little research because uh, I, I don't read newspapers. Why do research? So. I don't. We'll just, I don't read. So maybe no. someone else could read for me and uh, get that fact. She was uh, very short. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we were kind of making some some wise cracks at her as she was walking around. I but wasn't. I said I, I can't make fun of him anymore. I said to Matter Jimmy. Matter of fact, I felt bad and I gave her a huge tip. <laughs> uh, did you? Yes. I, I I I said to Jimmy. I go. Would you hit that? And he got a few suggestions as to what he did it with. Oh, bulldozer was the first oh, one. Oh, bulldozer was the first one. <laughs> she was, and uh, wait, what was the other one? Was not with, uh, not with an excuse from God or yeah, something. Yeah, I hit it with an explanation from God. An explanation from God. <laughs> <laughs> how many? How many nights praying, not kneeling by the bed, but standing and raising her arms up on it in prayer? <laughs> she look up at the Jesus picture and go, why? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, people turned us on to John Sterling last night. I guess he had, uh, had he had a batched home run call. A batched? B batched. Uh, 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 yeah, well. <laughs> it's mispronunciation Friday. Ah, ah, I'm point and laugh at Jimmy. Ah, ah, you got it wrong. Ah, 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 ah. Totally acceptable. Because it's point and laugh Friday, too. Yeah. It is mispronunciation Friday. <laughs> we we have to come up with, like, days and, and things because we're on radio. I like it's it. It's like the law. Yeah, it's our new thing. So, so today is Air Guitar Friday, Point and Laugh Friday, and Mispronunciation mis Friday. Mispronunciation. So oh, if you like mispronounce it. something, no one can call it's, you out on it. If they do, we get to Point and Laugh at the person that called us. Yes. Oh, okay. I like yeah, that. And Thursday it's... is a little slow. We only have, what's Thursday? Phone call Thursday, <laughs> which makes no sense because we take calls any day. Yeah, but it's also Perv News Thursday. Perv News Thursday. Oh, that's cool. And then there's another And there was something else that was just added. And we forgot already. Uh, oh, uh, 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 Camel Toe. Camel Toe Thursday. But only on guys. Oh, okay. Guy yeah. Camel Toe Thursday. Yeah, not, Radio not Thursday. <laughs> Have you done the Camel Toe for anybody, Judah? What's that? Have you done the Camel Toe for anybody? What does that mean? I wore Camel Toe? Oh, no, no, you do the. Do you make your, your the oh, front of your yeah. jeans look like a chick. Yeah, I, I try not to do that. You pull it yeah. Down. <laughs> yeah. And you watch it split everything down the middle. Yeah, no. Oh, it's yeah. also Fun Fact Thursday. Thank you. I had one of the most painful friggin' blasts to a testy. Last night, uh, oh, I'm was laying it by down. A short woman. I'm laying. No, it wasn't a midget. Oh, okay, she that's usually up. how it happens. Uh, I'm laying down what, in what, bed. Did you drop your Guinness? Of course, on my back. Yes, and a whole Guinness <laughs> fell on my. I'm laying down on my back. Of course, that's how you get injured in that area. And uh, the 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 cat is up on the bed. And a cat? Yeah, I've had a cat for a while. Little Jack Jack. He's adorable. Is he? He's a little cat. He's so cute. And uh, he has a little green um, stuffed mouse that he plays with. Jack, Jack, is that what you guys do when you're laying next to each other? <laughs> 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 no. You were talking about the turnip root. What's that? You were talking about the turnip root. Right? Oh, yeah, I bet, I bet he puts catnip on it, and, and the cat just grabs it with its little paws. And... I do not. Jack, Jack. I do not sexually assault my cat. Anyway. And, and, and so my girlfriend took the, the cat. And uh, the cat took the little stuffed mouse and threw it over me off the bed. The cat goes wild and tramples over my uh, uh, most sensitive of, of region. I mean, both paws landed on each one. Oh, man. And I just buckled. I was like, that's why oh, I don't own a cat. My F word. I punched the headboard of the bed. Whoa. And and took uh, the water bottle that was up on my night table, just smashed it over onto the floor. I was so pissed. I have a question. Did yeah. you kill your cat? Yeah, I don't have a cat anymore. It's awesome. I took it. <laughs> you know how That's easy cool. their little heads are to turn completely oh, backwards? Dude, you totally. hear a slight snap. It's not even loud. And then they just go limp immediately. Yeah. And, That's and that it. little surprised look never comes off their face. No. no. What? What? Hey, uh, Over. You're lucky you didn't have a St. Bernard. <laughs> oh. Let's sneak the John Sterling call in. Oh, yes. Jimmy loves the John Sterling home run it's call. Three minutes of? Yeah, he... But he missed. Uh, he missed one. Good. Here's oh. Melky, who's a left-hand hitter. The pitch swung on and hit in the air to left and deep. That goes Holiday. He's on the track. He's at the wall. She's gone. The milkman delivered. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Saying. Did he make that catch? He made the catch. Holiday. I thought the ball was over the fence. <laughs> All right, Holiday we need that. Grabbed it right at the wall. Let's look at the replay and see where he caught it. I can't wait to see. 
Well, he went all the way back to the wall, he oh, and no. he just missed about. He missed a home run by about two feet. Yeah. Now, Melky gets the run. Oh, and goodness me, gracious. The ball went over the fence. It's a clear fence, and Holiday made the catch right at the screen fence. So it's a sack fly from Melky. He got the run. Right, we got we don't need an hour of it. Yeah, I know. We, we, <laughs> I know. Back goes Griffey looking up, and it's out of here! Or is it? No, it's off the wall. My mistake. <laughs> That's Love good. Those. That's stupid Sterling. Instead of worrying about his own cat, the milk mantle. Eh? The Does milk he? mantle. Oh, Does well, he? he didn't. We're a big fan of the no miss. cereal this morning. Big fan the, of the milk miss. man didn't deliver. Big fan <laughs> of the missed call out uh, there, Judah. We love it. Scored! No, no. Oh my! I tell you something. How did that not go in? <laughs> <laughs> because it didn't. How did that not go in? I said it did. No, you made a mistake, idiot. It's That's not how did that anyway. not go in. <laughs> yeah, count it anyway. It's what, in. What unlistenable radio that must be. John Sterling and Susan Waldman. I, I, I'm oh, listenable. I hate her. She drives me. Oh I don't my mind him. God! No, Roger Clemens is in George Steinbrenner's box. <laughs> my goodness gracious. He's all Yankee. It's a mate. Ah, oh, shut up. Hey, this is Judah Friedland of the World Champion, and you're listening to the worst of Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony.